Hello, it's Lucy here, and today we are talking about dragonflies and damselflies. These insects love water, and you might spot them on a wetland, a moorland, in the glades of woodlands, or even just by your local pond. They come in all shapes and sizes, and they are beautiful. So today we're going to talk about the main differences between a dragonfly and a damselfly and then have a go at making our very own damselflies or dragonflies, whatever you prefer. Generally when looking at a dragonfly and damselfly you'll notice that dragonflies are a lot shorter and bulkier and damselflies are a lot longer and slender. So both dragonflies and damselflies have um, two sets of wings. They do differ slightly. So a dragonfly does not have equal size wings and the hind wings are actually larger than the forewings and they're normally broader at the base whereas damselflies have equal size and shape for their forewings and hind wings keeping with the wings so there is also another difference so when you look at a dragonfly you'll notice that their wings are broader at the base whereas if you look at a damselfly you'll notice their wings are narrow at the base if you ever spot a dragonfly or damselfly resting, you'll notice that dragonflies hold their wings out like a plane, whereas damselflies will rest them above them, closed. Here is some footage of a large red damselfly resting on one of the plants in my garden. So damselflies' eyes have a large gap between them, whereas dragonflies are also large, but they wrap from the side round to the front of the face. And they are the main differences between a dragonfly and damselfly. Now we're going to have a go at making our very own dragonfly or damselfly. So what you will need? You will need a stick. You will need some maple seeds, also known as helicopters. You will need something to glue them together, so I've got a bit of clay mud and I've also used a little bit of glue. And then you'll need something to decorate them. So I've got some wool and some pens. So first of all, you'll need a rubber short stick because these are going to be your wings and they're only little. So that is why you need quite a short stick. So you have a few options. You can get some glue and glue them onto your stick like this. Or, using a bit of clay, you can attach that to your stick and then attach the helicopter seeds, maple seeds, into the clay. Like so. And there you go. The start of your damselfly or dragonfly. So once you've got your wings in place, then you have a few options. You can find some loose beads or buttons, and with a bit of wire, you can add some eyes onto them. So I'm gonna have a go at making a large red damselfly, as that's what I saw. So mine has got red on it and some black bands. So I'm gonna have a go with the ball and wrapping it around, but also coloring it in. And there you have it, my damselflies. Why don't you have a go at making a damselfly out of natural resources, 30 Days Wild. To sign up for 30 or Days Wild, head to our website. And why don't you have a go at being wild every day in June. Thank you for watching, stay safe and stay wild.